purpose of this test is to measure the ability to maintain balance during movement and upon landing from a leap. The first procedure of this test is she will step at the start, then will leap at the first number, then at the second number, and so on. She must do it with one foot only. She should tiptoe and stay her balance. For every step, it may last around 5 seconds and it continues until you get to the last number. While having this test, they are also in charge for counting and writing the minus and also counting the seconds. Reaction time test is done to improve one's reaction time to a stimulus. Reaction time itself is an inherent ability, but overall response time can be improved by practice. The stork balance test requires the person to stand on one leg for as long as possible. One must remove the shoes and place the hands on the hips, then position the non-supporting foot against the inside of knee of the supporting leg. The subject is given one minute to practice the balance. The subject raises the heel to balance on the ball of the foot. The stopwatch is started as the heel is raised from the floor. The vertical jump test is also known as sergeant jump, names after Dolly Sargent who was one of the pioneers in American physical education. The purpose of this test is to measure the leg muscle power. In doing this activity, we must need measuring tape and chalk for marking the wall. Sit and reach is a common measure of flexibility and specifically measures the flexibility of the lower back and hamstring muscle. This test involves sitting on the floor with legs out straight ahead. It requires hand on top of each other and palms facing down. Make sure there are no jerky movement and that fingertips remain level and the legs flat. The 3 minute step test measures your aerobic fitness level based on how quickly your heart rate returns to normal after exercise. This test is based on a 12 inch step. When ready to begin, start the clock or stopwatch and march up and down on the step for 3 consecutive minutes. When 3 minutes are up, stop immediately, sit down on the step and count your heartbeat for 1 full minute. The people who will be doing the test is lying on a flat and clean surface. First, the two members who did the curl up lie down with their arms crossed on their chest. Also, there will be a person on each member to hold their feet. Next, the two members raise their trunk in a smooth manner reaching their knee with arms still crossed. This step is repeated until the timer stops. The aim of this test is to determine acceleration and speed. The test involves running a single maximum sprint over 35 meters with the time being recorded. The SIMO Agility Drill or also known as South East Missouri Agility Drill is a series of forward sprints, diagonal backpedaling and side shuffling. Hand and Wall Toss The person stands behind the line and facing the wall. The ball is thrown from one hand in an underarm action against the wall and attempted to be caught with the opposite hand. 